Hello. So my plan with these is we're going to be transforming these little gordy good shapes into some leaf autumn fall spooky season mugs for y'all's enjoyment. We are now going to venture into the great outdoors. Prepare yourself. I have to put my Crocs into sport mode. This is what we're after. Leaves. <laughs> leaves. Leaves. <laughs> we're after we're after leaves that have um, like some excellent texture to them, so we can press them into the sides of the mugs. Thank you for your sacrifice. Now that we have what we came for, let's go home. Well, <laughs> we locked ourselves out. We definitely locked ourselves out. Oh no. An angel came and let us in. Someone who is smarter than I and keeps their keys on their person. We have our leaves. Um, but first we got to get some handles on these babies. So I have my handle starts here um, And I need my scoring tool And I need some water So this is how we're gonna finish up with the handles. I'm gonna choose my favorite child Smooth out a little bit of the bottom. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. I'm, I hate trimming, so I don't do it. And so I have little tips and tricks on how to finish my mugs without um, having to ever trim. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe we'll make a video about that in the future, I don't know. But for now, it's a secret. I'm gonna choose where on the mug I would like my handle to be. And I'm going to squish slash like tap flatten one of the sides here on this here handle and that's what we're gonna score on this side adding just a tiny bit of water both here and here and then we're gonna wiggle squish that baby into place now these mugs are a little bit wet um, but that's okay we're gonna make it work I'm just like smoothing in this here handle on the top. And for pulling a handle off of the form, it's like super duper important that the top of the handle is quite heavily attached. Or else she's just gonna pop right off and fly away. Nobody wants that. Now that that is on the mug, I'm gonna flip it upside down and bring my water over and we are going to finish pulling the handle. So, same concept as before. I'm just gonna apply even pressure and just pull it down, like so. I might even just pull it up slightly. But you can see why it's super important that the handle is like super attached at the beginning. Ta-da, and then here's a magic trick. Turn it right side up and that's exactly where the handle wants to be. So we'll just kind of squish and pinch off the excess like so. ta -da! But we ain't done yet. I'm gonna take this wee excess of clay and I'm gonna squish it kind of like into a wee little croissant shape. So it's kind of like flat, has a little ridge. And then I'm going to take it and I am going to press it into that bottom edge that we left. Now this is gonna add just like a little bit of extra attachment space, but it's also going to make the handle, I don't know, kind of like look like it belongs. It's gonna like make it more round. Smoothing into the body of the mug with my little thingy, and then also doing the same and smoothing it into the rest of the handle. We're gonna get in the fall spirit before the next part by eating a pumpkin donut. Oh no, that's Now that we're in the fall spirit, <laughs> let's slap some leaves on some mugs. All right, I'm gonna choose. We have many, many leaves to choose from. And, oh, I think that, should we give these mugs a belly button? Like a little divot? I think yes. All right, now I'm gonna take my leaves 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose where on the mug I would like them. And I am just gonna start, actually I'm, I'm gonna dip it in the water, get it to stick a little bit easier. Choose where on the mug I would like it to go, and then start just lightly pressing the leaf into the surface like so. I'm gonna just press them leaves right on in there. Lovely. Who's next? I'm gonna dip that leaf in some water and I'm just gonna start lightly pressing it into the mug. Sometimes I just need a little bit of coaxing. A little uh, zhuzhing? Yeah. But this one really doesn't want to do it. Literally, you just have to lay down. All right. I think there's room for another. This one with a broken leg. You matter too. Oh, <gasps> they'll never even know that she had a broken leg. They say, oh, those leaves are overlapping. How quaint. That is autumnal joy right there. Leaves on a mug. Who can ask for anything better? Now let's paint it. So let's go with some... But I don't think my purple is actually purple. We'll consult the test tiles. Here are my test tiles. So I think that we'll have some purple, some violet, wild violet. Um, I think that we'll have perhaps a little bit of forest green. Of course, some orange. Oh, harvest gold, my bad. Um, and some fire truck red, fire engine red. Is that folly? Pretty fall? Do we need brown in there? I don't think so. Let's get cracking. And now we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. This a lot of this process is only slightly premeditated. A lot of it is just. We're gonna see how it works out. So we're gonna start with some purple because that's just a great color. I'm just gonna kind of put it in a couple places. Add some blue and then some red. It's not giving full in the way that I hoped. Just kidding. I know exactly what I'm doing. Alrighty, well, that's something. That is definitely something. Let's try to get some of these leaves off, shall we? Moment of truth. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm not hating it as much as I once did. Come on, little friend. Oh, she's she's ripping. She don't really want to come off. All right, all right, Miss Autumn, I see you. Lovely. See, I'm not I'm not super thrilled about the colors on this one, to be honest with you. So I think we're gonna try it again. She's a little bit too colorful for my taste, for my Autumn. But you know, you might love it. You might not. Who's to say? So this time we're gonna go with a little bit of a darker color so that we have more contrast. Um, it isn't so bright and springy because it wasn't it wasn't giving fall like I wanted it to. So now we're doing this chestnut brown. All right, let's try to peel this one off and see how it goes. Hopefully a little bit more smoothly. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Um, I am satisfied. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <gasps> She's so sweet. Alrighty, yeah, she's just she's just a little bit more of the vibe than this one is. <laughs> I mean, this one's pretty, just not what I was going for. And I suppose that's okay. We had to get, go through there to get to here. Well, thank you so much for joining me as we make some fall mugs. I had so much fun like experimenting with y'all. Um, if this was something that you enjoyed, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like, and maybe even comment what you want me to do next. If you want even more ceramic content, you can follow me on all of the social platforms under Benjamin Cahoon. And if you really want the inside scoop, you can sign up for my newsletter at my website, benjaminkahoon.com. I hope you have a lovely fall. Farewell. Can you handle that?